It's like a never ending cycle, man, when it comes to the gun violence, when it comes to the streets, man. That's why I basically encourage anybody who in the streets, anybody who live in that lifestyle, before you get too deep in it, bro, think about the people that's gonna basically be hurt if you. YouTube. Mark was happening, man. So. Like. I don't get it, bro. Maybe y'all get it. But, uh, one thing I do get is the reason I decided to basically fly straight and stay out the streets, bro. You dig what I'm saying? Now, gang, if you don't know me, man, I go about done. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that like button for your boy, man. Go ahead and ring that bell so you don't miss a bangle. You feel what I'm saying? And, Tonight, man, we finna get into a uh, black youngster, man. Black youngster. I'm assuming niggas gonna pay me everything they got for me. I'm assuming niggas they think I'm playing like Monopoly. I don't know how long ago it was, gang. I wanna say it was maybe like I don't even know if it's been a year yet, bro. It may have though. But black youngster's baby brother was uh gunned down at a gas station in Memphis, Tennessee, man. Everybody was saying that, uh, you know, somebody was slime for Dolph. Somebody was slime for somebody Youngster had basically caused harm to. You feel me? Because we all know Black Youngster is in, he in them streets, bro. He in them Memphis streets. He don't hide it. He let people know he ain't nothing to play with and all that. So we all was thinking that was get back for something that Black Youngster may have did to somebody. Or it may have been get back for Dolph. But they caught the guy who basically did this to Youngster's brother, right? Because I think it was a gas station altercation or something. And something happened and old boy just pulled out the blick and he just flat out. And they got it. They caught him, right? A Memphis man wanted for murder is finally behind bars tonight after being captured by U.S. Marshals. 28-year-old Randy Ewing was taken into custody in Parkway Village last night after he was spotted by U.S. Marshals and the MPD fugitive team in the area of Crichton Avenue. He was wanted on second-degree murder charges for the shooting in August of Tamanuel Benson, the brother of Memphis rapper Black Youngster. This right here hit the media maybe like three or four days ago. Well, the man accused of killing the brother of Memphis rapper Black Youngsta has died. Randy Ewing Jr. faced several charges, including voluntary manslaughter and being a felon in possession of a handgun. He was out on bond when he died yesterday, but the cause of his death remains a mystery tonight. Black Youngsta's brother, Tamanuel Benson, was shot to death in August of 2023. Police caught up with Ewing this past February. As y'all saw, man, it says that the guy who basically gunned down Black Youngster's brother was basically killed in Memphis, Tennessee, bro, and he was out on bond. Now, don't get me wrong, man. Y'all know me. I feel like street justice is the best justice when you in the streets. But if you let anybody tell it, like, it really didn't have nothing to do with the streets. It was basically a misunderstanding of the gas station. You feel what I'm saying? So, I can't say that it was street justice. I can't say that it was, uh, get back for Dolph. I can't say it was get back for anything that was going on with Black Youngster because everybody is saying that it was just a misunderstanding at a gas station, bro. But this is what I don't understand, right? How was this guy able to get out on bond for a murder, bro? You feel me? To me, bro, I feel like they basically fed him to the wolves, bro. I feel like they basically gave him to, you know what I'm saying? Like, they gave him to the streets. And he probably was happy as hell to be out on the streets because a lot of street guys say, I'd rather be dead than in jail. And I don't even understand that mentality. But you got to understand, bro, I ain't never been to jail for a long period of time, bro. You feel what I'm saying? I never been to jail for a long period of time, dog. I went to jail for maybe like what? I think it was like for a night. You feel me? And that was enough jail for my whole life. I can't really say how somebody feel about whether they would rather be dead or in jail, but I do know this. Just like I ain't never been to jail, I ain't never been dead. You feel me? But a lot of guys do feel like jail is worse than death. So I can't say that this guy should have basically stayed in jail, but all I'm saying is that staying in jail probably could have saved this guy's life, bro. He had to know, bro, you murdered one of the biggest rappers from Memphis, brother, bro. You murdered a guy who got, basically got unlimited money. You feel me? A lot of times money equals power. 
a lot of us don't want to basically realize that, but money does equals power. You can take the lamest guy from your high school, he get a little money, he don't think he got a little power. And it depends on how much money he actually got. He do got a little power, you feel me? I don't know, gang. I don't know, bro. I mean, I have no dog in the fight. I'm not going to sit up here and act like, you know what I'm saying, like this is a messed up situation because this man took a life. We don't know why he took the life. We don't know if his life was threatened. We really don't know. But I'm just saying, like, MPD let this guy out, out on bond, and he lost his life, bro. That's crazy to me. That's crazy to me. Anyway, gang, it's like a never-ending cycle, man, when it comes to the gun violence, when it comes to the streets, man. That's why I basically encourage anybody who in the streets, anybody who live in that lifestyle, before you get too deep in it, bro, think about the people that's going to basically be hurt if you have to spend the rest of your life in the chain gang. Think about the people who are basically going to be hurt if you have to spend the rest of your life six feet deep. You know what I'm saying? Think about the people who are going to be hurt if you get killed, the people who gotta bury you, think about your mama. You feel what I'm saying? Think about your kids. Think about your old lady if you got one, man. Get out the streets before it get too deep for you. It ain't even cool to be in the streets no more because the streets is dead. The streets is a mill, so it's not even cool. So before you get too far deep in it, before you basically draw blood, bro, and then somebody gonna want blood for, for you, just get out the streets, man. Leave the streets alone, man. Become a law abiding citizen. You feel me? That's the only way you're going to have longevity. Ain't no longevity in the streets. It's only two ways out, man. Jail or the graveyard. No cap. Now, in the meantime, between time, gang, I go by done, man. We sending up prayers for this guy and his family, bro. You know what I mean? We don't, I don't have no dog in the fight. I don't know what went on, man. All I know is somebody lost their life, and this guy probably had a mama, grandmama, daddy, chilling, all that, man. So, hey, rest in peace to this guy, man. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this in the comment section down below. Memphis 10, I need y'all to check in right now, man. Put me in with the note, man. Don't have me out here blind, you feel me? So, if you from Memphis, man, check in right now. You dig? I love y'all, man. 3300 by tomorrow. 4K. We on the way. Roll the 10K. The 100K plaque will be ours by the top of the year. And y'all make sure, make sure, man, y'all support all my other YouTube channels. Link in the description down below. Got a couple's channel with my lady. My lady got our own vlogging channel. And I have started to basically consistently upload on my second reaction channel. So y'all tap in over there. Follow all my social media, man. King Dunn, man. You did what I'm saying. King Dunn underscore 7 on the ground. King Dunn underscore 8. On the snap. I love y'all and we're gonna see y'all on the next one. Let's get it. Gang. Fuck you,